Continuing with uh, database management and database security, um, the uh, the components uh, involved in a uh, database uh, system, database management system, well, um, uh, and the uh, the functions um, in regard to security that uh, they can and can't uh, provide for you. Uh, so when they can't, uh, areas that you may have to address uh, specifically in terms of the, the security functions that you want. Um, now there's the, the hardware platform. Uh, and uh, of course, um, when we are dealing with a database, we are dealing with storage. So uh, we may have... Um, a, a cloud uh, storage system. We may have uh, uh, systems such as network attached storage, um, and and we've you know uh, mentioned some of these in in regard to architecture, and and we will be talking about some of them again in uh, telecommunications and networking. The uh, the functions that uh, those components can can deal with. Uh, but primarily when we're when we're dealing with hardware, um, we're in, in, in regard to uh, the database there, there may not be an awful lot of uh, uh, security functionality um, in uh, that regard. Uh, the operating system starts to get us into, uh, for example, uh, access control and of course, the uh, permissions involved in uh, access to entities on the system. But uh, they are going to be based on access uh, to files with, with respect to uh, uh, databases. And of course, um, in may, many cases, the entire database is contained in a single file. Now, when we get into... Um, Oh, uh, the uh, relational databases, and we'll talk more uh, about that. Um, the uh, tables involved in a relational database, um, you can create, for example, a, a separate table, uh, as long as you, you know, properly do uh, primary keys and foreign keys and all that kind of good stuff. Um, uh, and and have specific tables that contain the confidential information, for example, um, and and therefore, uh, in terms of the operating system, uh, you you can uh, start to uh, create um, uh, permissions. Uh, saying that certain people are allowed to access these tables with confidential information and some people are not. However, um, it may not make logical sense um, in regard to uh, files, file creation, table creation, um, to uh, separate uh, the confidential information out into separate tables. Um, that that may provide us with uh, uh, problems in in regard to the the management of the database itself, exclusive of the the security consideration. So um, that's uh, something to keep in mind, but it definitely is not an automatic uh, uh, solution to to problems. Now, the database management systems themselves. Um, the uh, the back end database the the database engine um, they undoubtedly have uh, access control functions well uh, undoubtedly is is maybe putting it strongly but um, you will probably find uh, access control type functions in uh, these systems in these engines of um, the uh, uh, the database software, um, but that uh, again, um, in terms of the specifics, in terms of 
access to uh, particular fields, uh, that sort of thing. Um, we may or may not have the, the level of detail that we want, but we, we're starting to get into uh, the controls that we can rely on as we are developing our uh, database uh, systems themselves um, in terms of, of our security. Uh, I, as previously mentioned, and I'll keep on mentioning it, um, the complexity of our systems is uh, increasing. And so now we have uh, middleware where uh, we divide the, uh, the database and, and the construction, the development of the database, not only in terms of the, the back-end database engine and the database management system and the front-end programming that we do to aid uh, data entry, queries, that sort of thing, but we have uh, middleware. Um, we, uh, to a certain extent, this is uh, simply there to ensure that um, our preferred development platform on the front end can communicate with the back end, um, but a number of these middleware um, platforms will have additional functionality here. Um, I'm not sure that a ton of them will will deal with uh, security specifically, but again, this may be a concern in terms of our development of uh, the front end um, as to um, the, the lack of uh, protections that may be um, involved in, in the middleware. So we, um, we need to be aware of, you know, are there uh, vulnerabilities here? Um, we think we've created uh, a secure system in uh, the, uh, the front end, and, and yet because of the, the lack of functionality perhaps in, in the middleware uh, layer, um, the protections we think we put in place can be circumvented. So um, we, need to, uh, we need to be aware of that possibility. Um, the, the network as well. Um, network access, um, you know, how, how accessible is this over the network? Um, when, when we are, you know, we have a, a system connected to a network, um, whether or not we are, are using the network to, uh, obtain information, to, uh, aid our queries, to, uh, perform functions for us, um, you know, are we, um, then, also making our database available to other people that maybe we would rather uh, didn't have access to it. So um, we've got uh, a number of concerns and considerations there that we want to uh, see. And again, uh, we'll, we'll uh, come back to, to this uh, to a certain extent when we uh, get into telecommunications and, and networking systems themselves and that domain. Uh, there's the, uh, the front end, uh, the application development. Uh, very often this is, is seen simply as the uh, development. Uh, and unfortunately, um, some people do not uh, take a full picture of the components involved and and look only at the front end uh, development again you've got to you've got to take a larger view of what's going on here um, there are going to be logs there are going to be logs in the hardware there are going to be logs in the operating system there are going to be logs in the the database management system we may have to provide additional logs um, in our front end um, uh, and we've got the network logs as well so you know we've we've got uh, you know, logs of everything here, and we need to uh, know that we are paying attention to what those logs can tell us uh, in regard to the security of our database. And finally, of course, there are the users. Uh, and that's, that's always um, a part of any system. Um, and 
uh, particularly when we're dealing with databases. Of course, we've got large numbers of people getting access uh, to this information. Are there areas that they uh, need to have access to? And are there areas that even though they, they need to have access to the database, some parts of the database, there are uh, aspects of the database that they should not have access to. So uh, we need to look at all of these.